want to do it. Do what? This video. Why? Because I'm tired, man. Why are you tired? I've been working all day. I got a new job. You know, the fitness thing ain't working out, you know? The one's trying to come for me, trying to put my name in the title, so. I just decided I was going to get a job at Costco called Quiz, you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding, yo. Guys, I got something special for you. Come here. I got something special. Um, so, check this out. I'm gonna do a series about getting bigger. I was gonna call it Get Bigger 101, but I was like, that's corny, it's used so much. I was gonna call it Get Big, that's also corny, it's used too much. Um, so I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna put an ER on the end of it. <laughs> Get bigger. <laughs> no, but the whole point of this, guys, is that I just wanna isolate uh, not just body parts, but like muscles in the body part, right? Uh, what does that mean? So, everyone says shoulders, right? Shoulders. I'm gonna take it to like rear delts specifically. Rear delts specifically. Just for one video. Just for one video. So this first video is gonna be about rear delts. Um, some exercises that I've learned over the years that I really like. Some things that people show me in the gym that I enjoy. Um, and I'm gonna show them to you guys. So the next time if I do shoulders, it's gonna be like front delt, anterior, all right? And then like maybe the last one will be like medial, the whole, the whole thing, the whole shoulder, like so presses and things like that that involve it all. And at the end of the day, I want you to know this too, that regardless of what shoulder exercise you're doing, yeah. it's involving your whole shoulder. Like, it's not just, you, you're never just gonna hit like just one muscle, you're gonna, but we're trying our best to do that. That's the whole point of the series, is to like isolate those lagging body parts that you may or may not have, um, and make the most out of it. So, let's go do this shit, rear delts. Um, it's number one on the list, so let's start that shit. All right, the worst part about this is that you're reading my shirt and it's not on there. I mean, I'll probably hit arms after shoulders, but anyways, first exercise, guys. Uh, band pull apart. So your gym might not have one of these. I hope they do. If they don't have a, one like this, uh, with, the, with the whole thing's rubber band, right? Find the ones like the, the Group X. You know, like the yeah, fucking they have handles. They have handles, right? You could just you could just basically grab inside the handles. You don't need the handles, right? Um, the idea is it's really a warm up for the rest of the workout. And this is probably one of those exercises that when I did consistently, I never had shoulder pains. I never had issues like. It, it's something that I should be doing every time before I work out. So before you hit shoulders, even if you don't want to do this full routine, just try this like every time you work out in the in the, um, the pass throughs that I do as well with like the the broomstick thing, that metal thing right there. I don't want to use it. Show you. I'll show you with this, like this. All right. Anyways, what you're gonna do? You're gonna find somewhere in the band that is like there's enough tension that you feel the pressure in your rear delts. And all you're gonna do is keep your elbows, try and keep your elbows in like one position, right? So try not to bend your elbows, right? So you don't wanna do this, right? We don't wanna make it a tricep thing. Try and be here, keep your elbow in one position. I'm gonna show you what it looks like first so we can, so we can film it afterwards. So keep your elbow in that same, that same angle and you're just pulling straight across. So basically you're pulling the band apart, all right? And keep it out, right? You don't have to pull all the way back. All right, so I look like this. Elbows in one spot, pull apart. But it's essential you, that you keep the elbows like this. Right? You're not going like this. And try and get in front of a mirror or something so you can stay as even as possible. Like both your elbows should look like they're in the same position. Like you don't want one looking like this, you don't want one looking, you don't want to look like this. Try and be nice and even. Gonna do like 15 20 reps so each time you pull kind of hold it squeeze right back it's almost as hard as like lifting eggs and shit at costco and like pallets and shit but it's not, not even close bro that's hard work this is like well i mean after doing it all day this is hard work yeah that was hard work all day but now after being at costco this yeah, is extra hard but you guys could do it. If you guys could do it, I could do it. Like, and, and, and act, well, I don't want to get into this whole training. When I was a trainer, I did the same shit anyways. I worked all day, and I had to like be like, now I had to be in the gym and still train. I think that's one of the hardest things to do. But um, next exercise, I'll do, I'm gonna go through a few of these just to show you, so you get a few different angles. And then uh, the next exercise is gonna be a variation um, with the dumbbells on the benches. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, 
second exercise. This is a variation of like a, a rear delt fly. Um, instead of like coming out to the sides, right, like you normally would, um, my buddy Brandon showed me this one. You're basically gonna come out like, like you're gonna fly like a fucking, like a spaceship. Like a fucking, Wait, or what? like a rocket. Like you're gonna fly. Rockets don't do that. Like, you know, rockets don't go like that. Well, well, rockets just shoot up in the sky, okay? Uh, so that's not a good, maybe fly like a, like a jet? Yeah, like a jet, cause not like a, like a, cause like regular planes, they go kind of like this. Or like diving into the water like a penguin. No. Yeah, like oh, because they go like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're like, See? so happy feet. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So, imagine like a penguin diving, they're like this, like, like this, right? Versus like a plane being like this. Yeah. Okay, normally people do this shit. They're like, do this. Right? You're going to come back, like, out. And your palm's going to be facing down. So you're going to be leaned over. I'll show it to you in a second, obviously. You're going to be leaned over. Just grip the weight, like, cup the weight. And almost like... Just, this is so hard to teach them, bro. Like, I feel like I need to be there with them to like guide them. Just show them, bro. I'm gonna show you the best that I can. Um, but the idea is try not to shrug your shoulders. So try not to like squeeze your upper back. Like, that's the best advice I give you. Try and keep it low. Try and keep the movement low. Now watch what I do and see if you understand that. Because that's kind of hard to understand. But I'm gonna try. Well, you're gonna try. I'm gonna do it. And then you're gonna try to do it right. Yeah. All right. Don't, um, don't lift the weight up. You're trying to lift the weight like back and out. So don't do this, like, don't do this. So you'll stay away from your traps, right? Don't go like this, right? We're not like, you're not rolling up. You're trying to keep the weight out and back like this. Show them again. Or don't bend your arm. Yeah, like you want to try to be like this, right? Versus like this, right? So almost like you're like, like fucking, you're about to like, like jump off a cliff or some shit. Like just face first, without covering yourself. It's like, you know? There's a lot of people I wish would just jump off a cliff right now. Just kidding, I don't want them to jump off a cliff. I want them to jump into a foam pit and realize that it fucked up because they fell off the edge. So, um, okay. Yeah, you, 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 have you done this before, Kev? Uh, actually never done this before. Why don't you do it, I'll film you. Nah. You ready? I don't do this one, bro. I've done it. Kevin don't want to do it. I don't want to do this one. Why not? Which one do you want to do? Uh, the muscle up one. So when, the, when we do that, Yo, video, you gotta I'll show do off. It. You always gotta show off, bro. That's not a show off. It's just a good movement. He said he's not gonna do this one. He said he's gonna do the muscle up one. Yeah. He went from he went from level like beginner to like I'm just gonna do the expert shit. I'll we'll do that one there. I'll do this tomorrow. We'll do a Kev versus, Kev versus Bradley yeah. soon. When the gym's open. Yeah. It's going down. Not, I hope to see you guys there too. What? Not the DM. Not in the DM, in the bro. Zoo. It's gonna go down in the gym. Down in the zoo? Zoo. Zoo culture, baby, yes. What animal are you? Uh, Harambe. I know what I know I am. Uh, Harambe, what animal are you? Uh, uh, fuck, I don't know. Bro, you just said I know what animal I am. I'm a liger. That's not a, you can't pick fucking fake animals, bro. It's a fucking real. Ligers Lion, are tigers real, bro. are not real. They're fucking Ligers real. are not real, bro. Look it up. Yeah, see? What? You did three to actual lion and tiger. Yes! Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's a liger then. Yeah, I'm a liger, bro. What are you? Let's go. You, a, you know bro. what? I got you. You're a gazelle. Because you're a bitch and you run away. No, gazelle way. Gazelle way, bro. Gazelle way. Uh, <laughs> they saw you in the video when we went to Five Guys, remember? We went to Five Guys. We were going to fight. He ran away. That's why, that's why I said that. He ran away. It's a joke. You ran away. It's a joke. All right, bro. You can be a... Uh, you can be a... Uh, whatever you want to be. You're a giraffe. So what? They all, they try to kill. Oh, gotta, they try and kill the greatest man. The video, They're trying bro. to take him out. They don't. They don't want him around. We gotta continue the video. But Harambe, he don't. He doesn't continue, die though, bro. He's a legend. Ask the internet. He's not really dead. He's just a meme now. He's around the whole world now, forever in a meme form. R.I.P. Harambe. What? What? It's real. 
Next exercise, I'll show you right after this. All right, I figured it out. I figured it out. So it's like the anime series. Whenever the people run, like from there to here, their like arms they're going into battle. The arms wouldn't move. But their feet. Their feet would be like. They'd be like this. Just yeah, like that. So true. Or like they were a little more like this though. They're trying they to, had to be aerodynamic. Out. They had to try to be aerodynamic. Huh? Do that again. Look at that. Man, that's exactly. big, bro. I photoshopped that's that. That's why I did it. Photoshop it in again. Yeah. Do it again. I'll do it again. Got it. Uh, anyways, um, next exercise is going to be. Uh, I don't know if you guys. So I feel like I showed them this before. Well, which one? Uh, we'll show it to them again. All right, let's go. Just like this. figured it out as I was doing it. The movement feels way better in your rear dust. You're not gonna avoid hitting your back. You're not gonna avoid hitting your traps a little bit, so understand that it's okay. That that one is a little bit easier to avoid all the other muscles and just keep it out. This one you're gonna feel more in your traps, more moving in your upper back as well. A little tension in your lower back is fine. But if you keep the weight further out, so you're bent over, you obviously wanna be sturdy, feel sturdy from your weight from your glutes to your heels, right? So you feel nice and balanced. But as you're rowing, try to keep the weight out more. almost out more, away from your body. You know, it's it, right? Yeah, because first I was here, you're close. it was more of like a row, yeah. but more of like a back row. Yeah. And then as I kind of rotated my elbows from here, out. outwards, and kind of try to keep them like in that range of motion, I felt my rear delts a hundred times more. So you a went from times. anime to fucking bird. Animate a what? The bird. And then you, you know. Up, yeah, up I like. Bird. One more to bird? Yeah. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Exactly. It was a great movie. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out on Netflix. I'm sure it's there. I watched it two nights ago. Did I, you know, really? I know it's there. Uh, yeah, I did. Damn, bro. Anyways, I like fucking. I like ninja movies, bro. It's not a ninja is that movie. weird? Yes. It, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Is that ninjas. a ninja movie? They're not ninjas. That is absolutely a ninja movie. They're not ninjas. Samurais fight ninjas. They're not samurais. Bro, have you seen the movie? Have you seen the movie? I made the movie. He's in the movie. Yeah. He made it and he was in it and he wrote it. And he did the coloring, the lighting, everything. Yeah. I didn't Fuck do the smoke catch. machine though. This is why I make fun of Kevin. This is why. So, anyways. Keep your elbows rotated out. Okay? And try and just pull almost to your face. All right, I'll show you guys again. It feels great though, like, but the more you kind of ro ro rotate back, you're gonna feel more in your upper back, your like rhomboids and your lats a little bit. But the more you can flare. Keep it high, bro. Yeah, keep it high. You're not funny. No, I'm saying keep it high, yeah. Good. Oh, thanks. Good. So before I get into this next exercise, this exercise is not only like amazing for rear delt development, but also like upper back stability, like for bench press and shit like that, or dumbbell bench press, whatever. Um, so this should be in your routine at some point. Like if you're not, again, if you're not doing this whole routine, like there's a few exercises in here, like the, the, uh, the face pull, the, um, the fucking rear delt fucking, which, the, what's band it? Thing. the band thingy majig, just the band pull apart, okay? Those are amazing for warm-ups. This is amazing exercise if you just want to throw into like your shoulder routine somewhere. Not just for like your rear dot development, but also like stability. So give this a shot. The key is pull it to like your nose or your mouth, somewhere in here. Loose grip your hands. So don't grab it super tight. You don't need to be like super, super tight. Like loose grip your hands kind of like this, right? And let your let your hands pull against the the, um, the knot thingy with the ball thing. Oh, it's weird. Anyways, um, so don't grab super tight, kind of like just hold against and pull loosely with your elbows like apart and back. So you'll go from here, I'll show you. You're gonna go from here to here, apart and back. Um, and one more thing I wanna mention, I wanna make sure you guys understand. People see like, you'll see bodybuilders, you'll see physique people, whatever, and like they'll look wide, super wide, 
from like the back or even from the front. Like how you get like that round, that round shoulder. People underestimate the rear delt a lot. I think if you build your rear delt, because it's a very small muscle, but it will give you that like, that like uh, the separation between like your fucking tricep in your back and like your upper back like this whole so I, can you see it on me kind of it's kind of small oh, it's right not now. there bro it's not there anyways no. point is like it gives you that like that scoop so your shoulders look around from the side and from like the front so if you like you've seen that on guys like that the rear delt is like essential in like making that pop okay True. that's a bodybuilding secret seriously i'm not playing that's a legit bodybuilding secret. okay so just like this right to your face huh yeah. You ever pull it right there or no? Nah, this is more, when I pull here, it's a little bit more yeah, right here, right here, right here. You like that better or you like up your face? I like it up higher. Yeah? Yeah. Because I feel like the more I pull like directly towards my chest, the more I feel my traps. The more I kind of like rotate my elbows up, kind of like makes my traps relax and I keep the contraction on my rear delt. And the thing is too, guys, understand, it's a small range of motion. Like, if your range of motion, if you feel this in your rear delts, you'll you'll start to understand what I'm saying once you try it more and more. If you, or if you've been lifting for a long ass time, you already get it. The rear delt is a super small muscle, and it has a super small range of motion. Like, and if yours is just like this, and you feel it, then so that that's it. You know, some people feel like they gotta go all the way back. That's gonna at the end of the day, it's gonna start bringing in more like uh, rhomboids and like trap muscle into it. But wherever it feels good, that should be where you stay. Okay, so I, I normally stay around here. Nice, bro. That's pretty good. Decent. Yeah. That's decent. Hey, it's fairly you know, decent. It needs a little work, but. It know. needs a lot of work, dude. No Especially one's perfect, right bro. Now. No one's perfect, you know? Yeah. No one. Just get better, bro. Except good. for every other fitness person. They're all perfect, bro. Like me? Nah, they're. Yeah, exactly like Kalo. <laughs> like fucking Kalo. He's perfect, bro. He's never made a mistake in his life. Not, not once. Nah, he's just legit as fuck, dog. He's a super. He's a super Saiyan, super human. Liger. Liger. He's a fucking liger. <laughs> he's a liger. Yeah. You're, you're Harambe? I'm Harambe, bro. They took me out, dog. So they tried to take me out, but I'm a legend, though. Oh, it's true. I'm on me forever. Don't Nevins don't die. They stick around your ass forever. You're yeah. never going to forget them. Yeah. Especially when you work at Costco. <laughs> no, mainly because I work at Costco. And the cool thing about this exercise, too, as you guys can tell, you can talk while you're doing it. For real. But at some point, you really got to shut the fuck up and, like, just do it. It's a wild play. You keep cutting it. Kev keeps cutting because he's uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. Is that why, Kev? I'm uncomfortable. You uncomfortable with this? I got to pee. You got to pee? Yeah. I got to pee too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go pee right now. Can I just pee right here? I'm just, already I'm, peeing. I'm already peeing. Should I show him or no? No, bro. I don't want to embarrass myself. Oh my god. I got a story to tell you guys. What? No, we got to finish the workout first. Bro, and then the story. listen. And then the story. If they watch my videos and they actually watch my videos, they, they're they're going to get the workout. That's okay? true. Tell them the right. story. This is a story. I pissed my pants in school once. Did you? On God. Like, in high school. <laughs> high school, bro. High school. I thought you were going to be like Bro, preschool. not preschool, what not year, middle what school. Year, what year? Bro, I think it was a like fucking junior. Oh my God. <laughs> I pissed my pants in high school. <laughs> I was trying to hold my, hold my piss, bro. <laughs> In class? Yo! It was science class. Yo, with people yeah. like, yo, Brad Pitt's his pants. I got his attention, yeah. Did you really? Yeah, what the fuck? That's fucked up. I think it's they thought I was like, I was doing it as like some sort of fucking joke. <laughs> You're like, no. It wasn't. I was trying to like, hold my piss. Why? And I couldn't hold it. I don't know, dude. You know you dumb shit in high school? Everyone does dumb shit. What? The teacher was fine. I was like, yeah, the detention teacher. I was like, I'm trying to say I have to class with you. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a true story. If you ain't peeing your pants, if you, ain't, you ain't cool. Yeah. Oh, what is that from? What is that from? Fucking Billy Madison, right? Oh, it's from Billy Madison, yeah. Remember that? Because the kid peed and he helped him out. Yeah. And he's like, nah, I got you, bro. I got you. I got you, bro. It's the real ass. They, right that's there. a damn. Yeah. It's dope. That's Adam Sandler, right? Yeah. Would you? All right. Appreciate Prove it, you, man. Prove it. Prove it. Do it right now. All right. Hold on, I gotta go get some. You ain't with the cause unless you pee your pants right now, bro. I gotta get something to drink for us. Alright, let me, let me back. Right. Go drink, go drink. Can they see my rear delt? A little bit? Yeah. A little bit. Okay, guys, this is called, uh, it's called like a Y. A Y up. A Y up. Um, like, understand what I'm about to show you. This was Kevin's idea, but 
Like, don't make fun of me just yet, because this is probably one of the hardest exercises yeah. ever this for sure. Okay. Um, remember, I mentioned about the rear delt having a very small range of motion. Very, very true. You're not gonna. You don't want to lift the weight all the way up. You don't want to let the weight come all the way down. You want to find like that little sweet spot, the little medium spot. Um, I'm using five pounds. Okay. You can use five pounds. You can use two and a half. The idea is to like keep it as much as you can on the rear delts. So again, you're not gonna see me put the weight all the way down. You're not gonna see me put the weight all the way up, okay? And what you can think about too while you're doing this, I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna go hands down. The same thing I mentioned earlier about like loosely gripping it, don't grab it super tight. Do not grab the weight super tight. Cause if you grab it super tight, you're gonna involve the front delt. I mentioned this before in other videos, but I wanna say it again. If you involve the front delt, it's contracting, right? So if you're contracting the front, the back is something that will start to relax, like any muscle. Like for example, if you contract your bicep, right? Your tricep kind of like relaxes yeah. and vice versa. Okay, yeah. so if I contract your, you contract your tricep, your bicep basically relax. So understand that if you're contracting the front, the back's not gonna be able to do this job. Okay, so loosely grip the weight. That's why I always mention it like that. Loosey goosey. Loosey goosey. Yeah. Like Kevin. That I'm makes no sense. I mean, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna stop making fun of Kevin. Who should I make fun of? I'll make fun of myself. Because no, no one else could take being made fun of. Like everyone's make like, fun of him. I can make fun of Trent. Maybe I just won't make fun of anybody. Just, how, Maybe. About, how about you just give compliments out now? You know what? You're a really great guy, Kev. Yeah, thank you. Trent, I like your hat. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was a, sorry. Your hat? Whatever. It's decent. Uh, I like your I like your shoes. Can I get your number? No, bro. That's, no? No, bro. Oh, my yeah. bad. I thought we were giving out compliments. No, like, dude. It works that way. That's no? a different video, man. No? You sure? No? All right, bye, bro. Anyways, let's do this. My, my plan worked. It worked? Now he's coming back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, do the exercise. That's gonna be a little different for everybody. Um, but basically what you're thinking about is, like I said, loose, loosey goosey on the hands and try and roll up and out. Like, don't roll back towards your body. So your body's here, try and keep your hands rolling like up and out, up and out this way, okay? Um, that'll keep like your, your traps and everything kind of like relaxed for the most part. Because the, the minute you start going like this, and start rolling back, and then you try to like pull back to your body at all, they're gonna start involving your traps which is gonna take away from the rear delts like almost completely. Um, Cause it's such a strong muscle in comparison to the rear delt. So again, I'll show you it. Um, you're gonna do like reps. It's not about weight at all, just fucking reps, okay? Yo, Brad. Huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro! What are you doing? Bro, I'm fucking trying to delete this text. You know, you trying to delete the text, you shake it. Why are you fucking in my shit like that? I thought we were gonna do the last exercise. Bro, you I'm. Go now? I'm. Bro, what you mean? The last exercise? Yeah. Well, I was just deleting this text, but the last exercise is. Why? You know, switch it up. Huh? Yeah, Why that, what? That's it, that hits the rear, rear delt? Yeah, bro. If you, if you go outwards like this. Oh, so you gotta do it that way? Yeah. But that's not what I was doing now. I was erasing this text. Bro. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't know why you're in my business all the time. Weird, dude. <laughs> all the time, bro. This is weird. All of the time. This bro. is awkward. This, this is, is kind of awkward. Alright, I'll let you, bro. Right. Hey, yo, you know what? I love you. Do your business, bro. I'll, my I'll business? You mean, no, no, no. Delete, you mean undo the it's text? Okay, bro. I'm undo the text? It's, undo the text? I'm gonna undo the text? It's all good. I'm gonna do I'm gonna undo the text. It's fine, bro. Bradley special. I got you. Bro. I got you. Undoing the text, bro. This is what I'm gonna be over there. I was not doing the text. I was not doing the text. That's all I was doing! Get off my back! What's yeah. going on, bro? What's up? Where are we going? Post workout, dog. What you mean? Damn, we're here? What we're do you mean, we're here? Where's here? I don't know, where's here? <laughs> uh, here is there. Alright. There is here. Seriously, um, though. Yeah, we're in and out. Um, I mean, you were the one who suggested this, bro. Oh, I didn't, bro. I, I didn't suggest this, I but didn't. I would never turn it down. True. I would never turn it down, True. so... <laughs> we'll call, we'll go ahead and say I suggested it then. 
Because you won't take, you won't know not to because you're CrossFit, but it's gonna be like, Kevin, you're only supposed to eat at, uh, what's that one place? I don't fucking know. Um, Tender Greens. Tender Greens, yeah. Oh, shit's bomb. It's not open, so we're not going there. Um, I guess we'll go to the next best place. No, but seriously, uh, In and Out's amazing. Um, and. And? Uh, go ahead. You guys, oh. Can you hold the camera straight? Because I'm should, sure they're pissed off. We should off. do okay. a you know, thing. <laughs> I know when they're the pissed off. Opens, like, when the gym opens, okay. you know, the workout and stuff. The, See how hyped he is right the now? The fucking opening day. Okay. And then you're going to train with all these, everyone, all the homies. And then yeah, I'm going to train with everybody. Squat. In and out after. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have in and out cater the fucking gym opening. Hey, let's go. A fire! Whoa! Mind blown! Whoa. I'm not playing. That gym opening is going to be lit as fuck. Like, I'm going to light a fire. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No? Like, no. Yo. Just so, get the lid no. OG Stop. and put it on the front of the gym because they know Stop. it's going to be fucking Yeah, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? <laughs> He's uh, gone now. He ran across the street. He's gone. All right, bro. See ya. Anyways, we can eat this food. You ready, bro? Right. What are you huh? eating? This is, uh, this is uh, steak. Really, very, very light seasoned steak. Um, these are chicken chicken fries with uh, fat-free, like a bruschetta like flavor. Shut up! Um, Shut up, dude! No, no, this is all this is real. Bro. Listen, bro, this is the internet. I could say things on the internet, and it makes them the truth. Okay? So this is this is a these are not actually peppers, right? These are actually protein poppers. Okay? So when you eat these, so fancy. you get a little bit of extra protein comes out. Um, are these air? are just regular fries. Oh, shit. Okay. But those are protein fries. Okay. Yeah, these are protein fries with a bruschette like flavor, like seasoning. Um, and these are protein poppers. Regular fries. So that's a different type of steak with like a fancy seasoning. And this is a salad. Cool. Enjoy, bro. What'd you get? Nothing. Sam, what'd you get? Uh, animal style fries, number one. You didn't get the bruschetta uh, no. chicken fries? Yeah, that's what the animal style. Oh, okay. Anyways, what else? What, what else are we talking about right now? What do we want to tell them? Uh, what do we got in store? Well, oh, the series is going to be, you know? Oh, the series. So the series, yeah, I'm going to be breaking down body parts. Um, like, detailed, just for like, you know, upper chest, lower chest. Like, things that I, I would say that I would do. Like, if I was looking to do that, what would I focus on, right? Um, so, that's cool. Now, but there's something else. Cam, I think you've got to tell them. Yeah? Yeah, you should tell them, bro. You should thing? tell them, man. The thing. Okay. Right. I mean, are you sure? Our salad's really good. Are you sure? It's a good salad. Yeah. You should. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Next time, next time, next time. We'll tell them next time. Next video. You're going to do them like that? You're going to do them like that? Bro. I just do Tabata. Okay, we got to talk about this first. Okay, next time. Love you guys.